how this truck would go through anything. This is perfect. Woo! This is a nice truck. Oh, hey, what's your name? Easton. Easton? I'm Hutch Johnson. I'm here doing some weather. Would you like to help? Yes. Well, step on outside. I think this truck could go through a big snowstorm. Do you? Now, Hutch's Weather Kid, proudly presented by Luther Family Ford in Fargo, North Dakota. Here's Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Hello, everybody. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson, and I am excited to introduce you to today's Hutch's Weather Kid from the showroom floor here at Luther Family Ford. Easton Peterson, step on out here, young man. Tell us about yourself. Where do you live? Where do you go to school? What grade are you in? I live in Crookston. Very good. And uh, what are your favorite subjects in school? Math. Oh, I'm a numbers person, too. Now, is there anybody out there you want to say hi to? My sister. Okay, super. Give her a big wave. And then I want to ask you, what do you like to do when you're not in school? What are your hobbies? Um, fishing and baseball. Fishing and baseball are both up Hutch's Alley as well. And it says Storm Watcher. Why does it say that? Because I like to watch storms. Okay, well, we're going to talk a little bit about something needed for storms, and that's water. Because without water in the air, we couldn't make clouds, and we need clouds to make storms. Does that make sense? Yep. So we're going to talk about one measure of moisture in the air, and it's called the dew point temperature. Some of us hear about it, but we're not really sure about what it means. Are you ready to explain? Yep. Okay, I'm going to sneak over behind you here. We're going to sneak into the corner so we can point stuff. And here we go. Easton, why don't you tell everybody the definition of the dew point temperature? What is it? It is a temperature... And you can point right at this stuff while you're talking. Temperature when must air... Yep. Must we cool the air to for the humidity... To be 100%. Very good. And what is the thing about... Is it higher or lower than the air temperature? What's it say there? It's always... Always the same or colder than the air temperature. Excellent. So let me give you a pointer. When we're pointing, why don't you look over here to point, and then you can see where your arm is pointing a little easier. Now, let's go ahead and talk about dew point temperature. What is it? It's a measure, measure of what? of water in the air only changes when water in the air increases or decreases. Okay, cool. And what else? Yeah. It's high. High when air has lots of water, lower than air is drier. Okay, so the dew point temperature is really high when the water, there's a lot of water in the air. And when there's not so much water in the air, the dew point temperature is lower. So, useful. Why do we care as meteorologists? Tell us why we use it. What, when temperature dew? Dew. Dew. Dew will form. Right. So you know dew forming on the grass. The dew point temperature tells us what temperature we have to cool to overnight to get that wetness on the grass. What What else? Cold, coldest or what temperature clouds fog forms. Yeah. Clouds and fog can form at that dew point temperature. And the coldest temps? Coldest temp or uh, a good starting point for low. A good starting point for low temperature, temperature forecasting. forecasting. That's right, because it is always lower than the air temperature. So if we look at the temperature in the dew point, and the dew point is 50, our overnight temperature should not go below 50 unless the air dries out. But it's a great starting point. You're looking at dew points here, and Easton's going to point out where we have dew points that show wetter air. Can you point out a couple areas where we have wetter air and the dew points are higher? Uh, down. Right, right here. down south. So oftentimes that humid air comes from the south. Those dew points are in the 70s. Up where we live this time of year, it's typical to have dew points in the 45 to 55 degree range. So we're usually drier. And this is a great example. Do you see this green strip right here? Yes. Why do you think or how do you think that green strip made its way all the way up here from the Gulf of Mexico? The air is moving up south. Yeah, it's a moving up from the south. So if we get a south wind for a few days, you start noticing that air you can wear, that stickiness. And the higher these numbers get, the more sticky the air is. Great job. Hey, why don't we switch over to that satellite view? Can we do that, please? I'll hit the clapper. There we go. Oh, there we go. We've got infrared satellite. Now, with the dew point temperature, if it's really, really dry, it's hard to make clouds. Where are there some clouds showing up on the infrared satellite? Uh, east end. Here. Oh, wait. Right. Do you see any clouds in Fargo? Uh -huh. 
Not, not so much. But this green and yellow stuff over here, those are some taller clouds. Let's do the weather two step. How many steps are we going to take? Yeah. Two. Turn, point over at this other thing, and tell me where there's some clouds elsewhere. Do you see them? Clouds out there. Clouds are out there on the East Coast. We're talking about Baltimore, Boston, and all the way up. All right, very good. So is it easy to talk about the weather? Yes. Yeah, you did a great job. And we want to let people know at home where they can sign up. Tell them where they can sign up. At Luther Family Ford. Or? At Hutch. Hutch, hutchesweather.com slash weatherkid. Okay, very good. And I think you did an outstanding job. Easton and myself hope that you sign up to help me figure out our wild weather here sometime soon. Give me five. Way to go. And where are you from again? Crookston. Crookston. Representing Crookston. And you guys, are you the pirates? Yes. Uh, Give them a wave there. I guess I got to walk the plank. Let's go.